What's up, Spartan Swag 4863 in the place to be, and today I am holding one of the corrupted weapons with absolutely no corruption. I'm going to show you how to beat the corruption from not only the corrupted weapons, but from getting hit by enemies, and how to seriously reduce the corruption from obelisks. So let's get right into it. Now, as you know, these new weapons all give you heavy corruption right off the bat, just by equipping them. So, if we scroll through them, here's what you see. Heavy corruption. And the entertainer behind me is trying to cure that corruption, but can't. So, uh, I also have the Black Feather Helm. I'm going to go ahead and put that on just to double up, right? We've got all the corruption possibilities going on. So... With the helm on, it still remains corrupting me, even watching the dancer. So here is one of the ways that you can get around this corruption equipment, and that is the scorpion harness. Now, the scorpion harness cures poison every 30 seconds or so. And as you can see, I'm no longer gaining corruption. It's being cured out of me. I do need the dancer, though, because the dancer is what's actually curing the corruption so the scorpion harness stops it uh but the dancer is curing it right so this is something that you could do if you were you know getting ready to go out and do a battle you really wanted to use this weapon or you really wanted to wear this helmet um it's not really for the weapon though because as soon as you put the weapon away and pull it back out you're going to gain the corruption so then you need the dancer again See, I switch weapons and I get the corruption back. So you would need the dancer to then cure it again. So it's really flawed because it's going to take all that health uh, out of your bar. And then you're using a lot more healing stuff, whatnot. So unless you're just going to sit there and continue to uh, kind of heal yourself and have a dancer following you and everything like that it's not ideal but this is one way that it can be done okay so every 30 seconds the scorpion harness will heal you now here's what's really cool this other setup that i'm going to show you here in a second is actually going to stop you from taking corruption when you get hit now i've got a little bit of corruption at the beginning of my bar there when i ran in but if you watch if you watch the edges of the screen i'm not continuing to take corruption Yes, I am getting damaged just like I normally would, but the corruption isn't being added. You can watch the, the buffs on the side of my screen when he hits me here. And you can see there's a hit, there's a couple of hits. Uh, and you can see no buff for uh, gaining corruption. And you can see there's no purple uh, vignette around my screen showing that I'm gaining corruption. So what I'm going to show you also is how little corruption you gain from an obelisk because so I'm standing here at this obelisk just kind of hanging out and I know we all load into obelisks on a regular basis right it's something that we do we gain some corruption some of us have longer load times than others so this setup will actually allow you to be in that corrupted uh, cloud for a lot longer than you would uh, would be able to and and gain just the small amount of corruption so I'm gonna run out run back in you can see I mean I've been standing in it for uh, a few seconds here 30 seconds something like that and and just that little teeny tiny bit of corruption is all I have so let's get into how to do this. The fourth perk of survival is called Antidote of One. It is the invulnerability to poisons and diseases. Strength of detrimental status effects are reduced by 20%. Now what that means is that corruption is considered a poison. So somehow, some way, having the fourth perk of survival means that these don't automatically give you poison. So it says... In the tooltip for these weapons that only the worthy can wield them, so if you have the fourth perk of survival, you are worthy to wield them without gaining corruption. I guess you're also worthy to wear the uh, black feather helm. Okay, uh, put that back on, not gaining any corruption. Switching through the weapons, not gaining any corruption. So that's the way you do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you have a like in your pocket, please pull it out, whack that like button. Peace.